Today is the peak of hurricane season. It actually marks the day, and boy, does it look it in the Atlantic. But Florence has our attention, and it should. Florence has its sights set on the state of North Carolina. 150 plus miles per hour in a Category 4, a strong one. Already the long swells have set up rip currents of over a dozen rescues yesterday. People, if anything, taking this as one last opportunity to enjoy these beautiful beaches before that bad weather sets in. Surfers this morning trying to take advantage of the smooth waves. These water temperatures are inviting. Let's talk about Hurricane Florence, uh, now a dangerous Category 4 storm as it moves toward the East Coast. It is expected to make landfall either later Thursday night or early uh, the wee hours of Friday morning. Mandatory evacuations are underway for parts of uh, the Carolinas. CNN meteorologist Allison Chinchar is tracking Florence for us. And Allison, tell me more. Right, so the concern now is how much more intensification does this storm go through before it finally makes landfall. Right now, it's a very powerful Category 4 storm. Winds 130 miles per hour, gusting to 140 miles per hour. The track still eventually likes to make landfall somewhere between Virginia and South Carolina. Now, this does not mean these are the only areas that will be impacted. This just basically tells you where the center of circulation is expected to be and the strongest winds. But rain is actually going to be probably the biggest concern with this particular storm. We expect widespread amounts of rain well over 10 inches, but there will be some locations that could pick up in excess of 20, if not even 30 inches of rain. Now, the question is where those areas are going to be. Who's going to get the most rain? That ultimately will be determined on where that landfall location is there. The point is that all of the models are agreeing that there is going to be a tremendous amount of rain dumped, but that's not the only concern. And I want people to realize that cone that shows Virginia to South Carolina, that's only for the center of circulation. Everywhere from Florida all the way up to Massachusetts is likely to have some type of impact, whether that's rip currents, strong gusty winds, beach erosion, or even the hazardous surf. Those are all likely to have where you see this purple color on this map. So say if you live in New Jersey or Florida, you still need to understand that you're likely to have tropical storm force winds as this storm makes landfall. But this is not the only storm that we're keeping an eye on, believe it or not. We actually have three hurricanes that we've been keeping an eye on over portions of the Atlantic. We also have Helene and we also have Isaac that we'll be keeping a close eye on, Brooke, in the coming days. Allison, I know you will. Thank you so much. And, you know, people are certainly taking heed to these warnings to, to, to be prepared. Stores quickly trying to restock supplies like water, groceries, plywood, even gasoline. Uh, a Lowe's in North Carolina actually sold out uh, of generators. People who've been known to ride out storms here, Brooke, I want to bring in Terry Jackson. He's a longtime resident here in Wilmington. And Terry, you say you and your wife have made the decision to ride out this storm. Why is that? Yes, um... You are fake news. Fox News alert on this dangerous storm targeting the East Coast. Hurricane Florence rapidly gaining strength, aiming for a potential direct hit to the Carolinas just days from now. Officials urging people from South Carolina to Virginia to be ready. We need to prepare now in order to react should we be threatened by the landfall. Make your plans now. If you have met it, pretend, assume, presume that a major hurricane is going to hit right smack dab in the middle of South Carolina and may go way in, in shore. Senior meteorologist Janice Dean is live in the Fox Extreme Weather Center to prepare us. What's coming, Janice? Well, listen, if you live in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, even the Delmarva, you need to pay close attention to your local authorities, your local officials, because we're going to have evacuations. And certainly this is going to be one of the biggest storms, if not the biggest storm that North Carolina has ever experienced. Also want to point attention to the fact that we have Isaac. This is a hurricane. We also have Helene and we have Florence, but we're going to have to watch Isaac going into the Caribbean for the next couple of days. So having said that, let's take a look at Florence, our imminent threat. And the last few frames of that satellite imagery, you can see a very, very well-defined eye. And we see, you know, the symmetry with this storm. I mean, the 
cloud tops are very prominent here displayed. So I think as we get into the 11 a.m. advisory, this is going to be a major hurricane. It is going through what we call rapid intensification. It's going to drop 24 millibars in 24 hours. And that means we're probably going to have a category four on our hands this time tomorrow. We do anticipate a landfall Thursday, Friday as a major hurricane, as a category four. The last time a category four moved into North Carolina was 1954 Hazel. Residents will tell you they remember that storm. This could be stronger than that. Uh, and as we go through time Thursday into Friday, it's going to weaken, but it's also going to stall. So the potential for catastrophic rainfall on top of storm surge and hurricane force winds uh, around the center of the storm uh, is going to be imminent Thursday and Friday. So here are our tropical models. I want to show you the latest guidance over the next couple of days. Remember, we're three to four days out. So, you know, the guidance is 100 to 200 miles uh, north or south of this is possible. So again, this is the center of the storm, but we're going to feel, feel the effects of this well along the coast. And if this storm stalls and maybe moves a little bit more to the north, I'm going to be concerned for the Delmarva. So you need to pay attention. We think it's going to be a North Carolina landfall, although the impacts are going to be felt well away from North Carolina, South Carolina up towards Virginia, the Virginia's north of uh, the Delmarva and then inland and the water temperatures, Bill and Sandra, enough to at least support a major hurricane or strengthen it. We are betting right now on a category four making landfall Thursday, Friday, North Carolina. But again, widespread effects. And if you're dealing with over two feet of rainfall, that is going to be potentially catastrophic, life threatening. Take this warning. Janice Dean, thank you. This is not the only storm in town. We've got, take a look at this, Helene by the Cape Verde Islands. Tropical storm will become a hurricane. No effect uh, that for us, it moves into the open waters. Isaac will become a hurricane as well. That heads for the Lesser Antilles and maybe major rain for Puerto Rico on Friday. Now, let's go to the Pacific where, again, remember Hurricane Lane giving uh, 50 inches of rain to Hawaii. Now we've got Olivia. Most likely at a Category 1 dropping down to Tropical Storm status, but it's going to make landfall it's soon in the days ahead coming in from the north. So again, an uptick in activity, not just the Pacific, but the Atlantic. But Florence is really going to pack a punch in the days ahead. The best safety plan is preparation and common sense. <laughs>